Welcome back everyone. I made these videos not too long ago, but my second channel is literally riddled with so many videos like this. But I'll go ahead and show you a, a couple of ways to go ahead and fix some very common problems within Snapchat. Now these problems can consist of anything from, you know, network issues, Snapchat's not loading, different things like that. And I'll go ahead and try to break down every single situation. I'm also going to upload these on my third channel as well. I have a third channel if you guys don't know, which will be linked down below. But these are pretty much exactly how to fix a lot of these common problems, starting with the very first problem, which is when you're locked out of an account. So this can happen for a lot of different reasons. First of all, though, add me on Snapchat as usual. Here's the code, here's the everything, add me, scan it, whatever you want to do. Now, the very first thing, obviously, you'd be having your account locked. This can happen for a lot of different reasons. I have seen a lot of random people get their accounts locked as well. And this typically happens when one of two things happen. Either one, there's been some suspicious account activity on your account. Or two, for some reason, you you know randomly asked for a password or something like that. Or you forgot your password and you're not able to log in. Or you reset your password. Some things like that or even if you try to log in a thousand times into one account and the password's incorrect, this can also temporarily lock your account as well. Now, some very easy ways to fix this is to obviously contact Snapchat themselves and contact Snapchat support, which will go ahead and leave their link down below. So you can just go onto their website, click through a couple of things and contact them directly. Let them know your account name. They'll send you a link to type in your password and typically you can go and get your account back. But let's say you're totally locked out of your account and you just forgot the password. Well, in that case, all you have to do is just open up your Snapchat app. Typically, it won't look like this. You'll just see the login page. And from there, you can just go ahead and log into Snapchat and click on Forgot Password. That's typically what we see, and that's what I've seen here is the other thing could not connect. But I've seen this time and time again, where for some reason, your login, you can click login, but for some reason, the password's not going through. And in this case, that's exactly what I will tell you is to go ahead, click on the forgot password option. You'll go ahead and be able to type in your password or click forgot password and go ahead and send the, another passcode to your specific account. So that's exactly how to fix your Snapchat account being locked up. Now, if you have any questions on that aspect, again, comment down below. Now, the, the second thing, which is Snapchat crashing. Now, this happens all the time, and it's very, very weird. And I never really understood why this happens. But sometimes if you record a video and you just kind of do some things, or if you go and take a photo or something, Snapchat will literally randomly crash on you all the time. Now, now in this case, a really easy way to go ahead and fix this actually is to just go ahead, hop out of Snapchat like this and try to go back into Snapchat just like how I'm doing it, just like this. And that should typically fix the issue. If that doesn't fix it, the very next thing I would do is honestly recommend logging out of Snapchat and logging back in. Typically, this is where most of the issues can rely and pretty much be fixed at is logging out of Snapchat and logging back into the account. Now, let's say that doesn't work. Then typically what you can do at this point is to see if your account or if your Snapchat app has an update to it. So typically what this means is you can go and click on the App Store. You can go ahead and click on whether you're on the Google Play Store for Android or iOS. You want to go ahead and click up here. Click Just search up Snapchat or you can go through my apps and go get it from there. You'll find it right here. And you just want to see if there's a little update option, either whether you're on iOS or Android, you'll see it there. You can go and click on update and you want to make sure your Snapchat is up to date on the most recent version. If it's on a super old version, then obviously it's going to crash. Some features you might want to use aren't working. And from there, you'll actually be able to fix it. So typically, like I stated before, that's usually how you fix those specific issues. So now that we have that one out of the way and we're updated, you want to go back into Snapchat and go, go do exactly what you were planning on doing before. And that should end up fixing itself so that's exactly how to fix that specific issue in that case now the next issue which is sometimes your notifications are not working for your you know snapchat app now this is a very interesting one because sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do with the snapchat app now what we want to do for either ios or android it's the same process pretty much you want to go inside of the settings app which is right here so whether you're on a samsung or something you still want to go into the settings app now you just want to locate your notifications panel now for every phone if it's not an iphone it will be a little bit different so you just want to either search for it here throughout you know scrolling through or you just want to go ahead and click on the search bar up top in your settings for ios and android you want to search up notifications and you should be able to find the notifications toggle now once you find it you'll find something like this now you want to scroll down until you find the snapchat option so snapchat right here should be somewhere now, if you don't see Snapchat, like how I don't see Snapchat here, this is totally okay. What you want to do then is go ahead and hop out of here. You want to scroll down until you find all your apps down below. So right here, I see Snapchat. 
So you want to locate whichever app you were wanting to look for, which is Snapchat right now. You want to click on it. You'll see microphone, you'll see camera, you'll see background app refresh. And in some cases, you will still not see notifications. So in order to fix this, is you want to go back into your Snapchat app. You want to click on your profile up here. You want to click on settings, which is right here. You'll come into this little panel. What you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see notifications right here. You want to go and click on here and you'll see at the very top, a little option that says enable notifications. So you want to go ahead and click on that. You'll get this little pop-up right here. You want to go ahead and click allow and you will see inevitably something happen. It will probably take a couple seconds for it to go through. And if it still kind of pauses like this, you can go back into your settings and there should be a Snapchat option somewhere. I'm still surprised it hasn't came up yet. And for me, it actually came up on my Snapchat app right here. So I can go and click here. I'll see notifications right there. I can go ahead and tap on it. And now it'll allow notifications and basically be able to show you all the notifications that you were looking for. So you have to enable it within the app before you can enable it within the settings. So that's exactly how to fix Snapchat notifications not working. Now, the next thing is, like I showed you before, sometimes Snapchat for some reason gives you this type of error. And it's very weird. I never understood it, but it's basically an error where it says, could not connect. Now I talked about this on my second channel yesterday, but basically this is a very common issue as well. A lot of people run into this. It's not uncommon. And basically what this is and the best way to kind of break it down is typically kind of to give you a lesson. Snapchat runs on Wi-Fi, it runs on internet, it runs on data. If you don't have a connection to those things, then typically you're going to have problems. You're not going to be able to actually successfully go and log into Snapchat, log into Twitter, log into whatever. So Snapchat is no different. It's an app and needs internet. And you want to test and make sure that your internet is working on your phone, your iPad, your tablet or whatever, before you actually go and try to connect to a Snapchat account. So a great way to do this is go into your settings. You want to go ahead and just look to your Wi-Fi settings, your data, and make sure that you have bars. If you have, you know, good signal, then you'll probably be set. If you're on airplane mode, you want to get off airplane mode, obviously. So as you can see, I am connected to a Wi-Fi network. Now, the next thing I would recommend doing is going and loading up any website. You can load up whatever I loaded up here, the Snapchat logo, or you can load up apple.com, whatever website. And you want to make sure you're actually able to load up that website as efficiently and as fast as possible. If it takes like 30 minutes to load up a website, then you already know what the issue is. It's your internet or your Wi-Fi or your data. You probably don't have a good cell signal. So if you're able to load up a website and everything and you're still able to log in, then you're set, then you're perfect. If for some reason you're not able to log in anymore, then the best thing to do again, as I said before, open up your app store, open your, open your play store or whatever, and you want to go ahead and see if there's an update available for your Snapchat app. If there is, then you already know what to do. You want to go ahead and update it. If there isn't, then this could typically mean that Snapchat is down and there could be an error associated with Snapchat right now. Now this happens all the time, it's not unfrequent. It literally happens more times than anybody could count on one hand. And it's very annoying, but this is pretty much what we have to live with. So Snapchat servers may be down. You can look in the comment section of this video. You can search it on Twitter. It's probably gonna be trending, Snapchat is down there. So you probably just have to wait until Snapchat fixes it. So that's typically how you can go ahead in a couple ways fix that Snapchat error where Snapchat could not be connected to or whatever the case is. Now, the last thing I'm going to hit on is basically fixing the error when Snapchats just aren't loading. Now, this is, again, another issue with your network. Typically, like I stated before, if you have a bad internet signal, then Snapchats just aren't going to load properly. And this is just a sad truth that happens all the time. So what you're going to have to do, like I stated before, and if you're watching this on my third channel, then welcome. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to do it. You want to go ahead and make sure you're connected to a good cell signal, a good Wi-Fi signal, a good whatever. So as you can see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Like I showed you before, not my camera, not my heart either. My settings, as you can see, I am connected to Wi-Fi here. As you can see, I'm all good. You want to go ahead and go onto the internet, load up any type of web page. Like I stated before, if you're able to connect to a web page and it's successful, then you're set. If you're still not able to load up a web page, then you know what the issue is. Typically, when I see this type of error where photos cannot be loaded, it really just means to me that your cell signal isn't good. I very rarely seen cases where for some reason, if the Snapchat servers are down or whatever, then you're not able to load up what, you know the actual photos. So if that ends up happening, and if it's just keep saying tap to load, tap to load, then typically it means that your cell signal is bad. So if that for still some reason doesn't work, checking your internet connection and everything, then the next thing you can do obviously is go into the app store and actually update your Snapchat that way. That'll probably end up fixing the issue. It's the least barrier of entry, and that'll probably end up fixing it more so than not. So that's exactly a couple of ways of how to fix some very, very, very common Snapchat issues that you may run into. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much for you guys to hit that. 
Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.